Good morning, you guys. I actually have something very random, last minute and exciting today. And I have to bring you along because if you've been following me for a long time, you would know that I do Kmart hauls and I love shopping at Kmart because they always have really great affordable decor. And I've actually been invited to their VIP Christmas event and I love Christmas, but I also really love Kmart. So I'm super, super excited. I've just popped my little makeup headband on and I'm gonna get ready, but I haven't quite decided what to wear. So I definitely know, I think I wanna do like a little bit of a warm, ready, bronzy kind of look on my eyes. So I've just done all my moisturizers and primers and things. I actually got this the other day from Mecca. I thought I'd just show you. It's that Mario Badescu um facial spray it's aloe vera adaptogens and coconut water so that is what's happening today i'm really excited for that and i will insert as many clips as i can it's from 12 till 3 i think no 1 till 3 in south melbourne so i'm pretty sure it's like a little bit of a lunch and then a showroom potentially looking at all of the new christmas products and that couldn't be a better timing for me because i actually haven't been to kmart to do my christmas shop yet and now that i'm finally in house i'm so sorry if you can hear the washing in the background but I'm trying to run around and do a million things this morning because I have a bit of my architectural client work that I need to get done before I head off to this event. So yeah, I just need to get ready, but let me show you my two dress options. Well, one's a jumpsuit and one's a dress and they're both a little bit sparkly. So I've just laid out the two potential options. This one came to mind immediately. I have had this for a really long time, but it's just one of those jumpsuits that always comes in handy for events because it is really pretty and sparkly. But this brown dress is an old Princess Polly one that I had and it's a really nice kind of backless um, sort of tight fitted dress. And I just thought that could be a good option as well I know you can't really see because the sun is wow and all of my clothing that I need to put away <laughs> um you can't really see them too well because the sun is shining in a little bit but that's going to be one of my options I think and then just some gold accessories to go with it okay my makeup is all done now other than my lips and I'm just going to leave my hair for the moment because I have to go and do a little bit of work now but I'll come back just before I head off I think I'll probably call an uber maybe around like 12 15 or something and this it was the end result I sort of did a little bit of a bronzy coppery look on my eyes and I don't know I think that turned out pretty good for a little bit of a home job I've just finished doing my hair this is the finished look I ended up going with the jumpsuit I'll show you in the mirror so you can kind of see what it looks like but I've just ordered my uber and I'm about to head on down to the Kmart Christmas party this is the jumpsuit it's an oldie but a goodie and it just has all of those beautiful bronzy kind of colors through it it's probably pretty hard to show on camera because it is a little bit dark in this house this is kind of what it looks like so I'm gonna grab my bag and and run straight out the door. I just got home. That was the most fun, unhinged, crazy Kmart event I have ever been to. I'm gonna sit down and show you exactly what I'm talking about and what happened, cause I couldn't believe it. Okay, so I just got home and you might be wondering why do you have a giant Santa sack next to you? But truly the last maybe like 15 minutes of that event was reminiscent of like the Hunger Games cornucopia. If you've seen that movie where they all run in to like grab the things because what happened was they had this beautiful room set up as you would have seen from all the clips. And they said, firstly, what we would like to do is have everyone go and pick an object and that we were gonna go and put it under the Kmart wishing tree because the Kmart um, partners with uh, Vinnie's, I believe. And every year they do the $2 little cards that you can pick up and do donations in store when you're making your purchases. But they also have the wishing tree and that's part of their Christmas giving appeal. And it's really, really important that 
if you're shopping and you have the means that you go and make a beautiful little donation. So I picked an advent calendar with a bunch of beauty products in it and I put that under the tree because I've heard that they do get a lot of donations of like toys and things for like much younger children, but they pretty rarely get things in the teen categories. So I wanted to make sure there was a beautiful gift there for a teenage girl that she might want to receive a bunch of beautiful beauty products for her Christmas. And I'm also going to be making a donation as well. So I will try and leave the link down below if I can find where to do so. But otherwise I do think I've got the little card with a QR code. So I will try and post that somewhere on social media. But in the meantime, I guess I have a haul to show you because they genuinely just said, take anything you want, except for the trees. Because again, the trees were being donated to disadvantaged families, which is so beautiful because they'd already been all decorated up. So good on Kmart for just having such a beautiful heart during the Christmas season. I also did get to meet the social media manager of Kmart as well. So that was great. I just met so many nice people in the room. And yeah, I think I might just get into this and show you because Whilst everyone dived for the beauty table, you know me and being an architect, I love homewares. So I you bet you I went straight over to the home table and I was like, I want cutlery. I want Christmas settings. I want some Christmas decorations, but it was all a bit of a blur and I can't even really remember what I got. So I'm just going to have to unpack it with you and show you. But truly so grateful for being invited to this event. It was really, really fun. And I actually cannot believe that they just let us take everything that was in the room so that they didn't have to pack it down. So one of the cutie little things I got were these tongs. So they're just little serving tongs, but they're Santa ones. I also got some bows because I just loved these red bow decorations. And I think this will look so beautiful either as a table setting or for a tree, because now that I'm finally in a house for the first time in like literally 10 years of living out of home, I have a house instead of a tiny little one bedroom apartment. So I can actually fit a tree and I don't know if Jazz will be super keen on it, but I really want to put a little tree over in the corner of our living room. So I'm thinking I won't go like a crazy big tree because we also don't have like much cupboard storage to put large items like that. So um, I probably will just go for like maybe one of the 1.2 meter kind of ones, but at least now I have some decorations. I also got these little cookie cutters in all different shapes. There's a little bow, a candy cane, presents, gingerbread man, and a little tree. Uh, what else did I get? Oh my gosh, honestly, they really did say take everything. And I was like, okay. So one of the other items I got to decorate up my table, because I told you guys that I'm hosting Christmas this year, is this cute little truck. And I think it's got the label in here. I'll let you know. Um, yes, it says it's a metal camper van and it's $15. So what a cute little table decoration for an Australian Christmas. I just thought that was so cute and so fun. I also got a whole stack of white bows. And the good thing about these, um, they are Christmas tree decorations, but they have a little clip on the back of them. So I feel like you could even use this in your hair for a little bit of a Christmas decoration as well. So I am just super happy with that because I really love the aesthetic of bows. I got a little Santa snow globe, which is super cute again for decorating up the table. I had to get this little truck. My sister's little boy is four years old now and he is so obsessed with cars, like constantly wanting new cars. So I thought, why not get him? It is an ornament, but I'll just chop the little string off it because I thought he might like to use this as a little Christmas car. Next thing I got was this candle. This one is the Christmas surprise tangerine and berry candle. And the other candle I got, I'm so pumped that I got this. They only had one. And again, you know me, I was just hunting for the homewares. And this one is Christmas pudding. It says it's creamy, coconut, spicy, and fruity, which is just so beautiful. I actually need to take the little cover off so I can smell it, hopefully. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So that is the Christmas pudding candle. Truly, if you just want one nice candle for your Christmas decorations, that is the one. I also found a couple of other little ornaments. I got that one for my sister because her name is Rachel. And I also got this really cute little one that says letters for Santa. Randomly, they also had some other items and you were really allowed to just take anything. So I did get this, which is a beautiful little portable table lamp. So that's it on. And then 
fan off. It's kind of like a little cafe table lamp, but I actually thought I might put this in my office because I thought that would be perfect as a little desk lamp. I just found the little card that I was talking to you about. So this is a Salvation Army wishing tree appeal. So I think that most stores have the trees out the front and you can purchase or pre-wrap a gift and drop it under there, but they also do have this one, which is the $2 little card. So yes, again, I think if you only have cash on you or you don't really know what to buy, you can just donate $2 to the Salvation Army Appeal. Another fun thing you would have seen in the clips is they also had a whole bunch of the new summer range clothing. And there was a couple of really beautiful pieces in pastel colors. And I just really love those soft sort of colors that you can mix with all of your neutrals, like a nice white singlet or something. So I did pick up a few pieces as well. I got this one, which is a pink linen skirt with a little bit of an elasticized waist on it unfortunately it doesn't have the tag in there so I can't tell you how much it costs or what it was but I just thought that would be a really nice piece of clothing I also got a little pair of white linen shorts if there's any red fluff that you're seeing on this I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it's going everywhere and it's all from the bag so yeah I got these little elasticized white shorts as well I also got a pair of pants. Oh my gosh, these are covered in the red stuff. Um, these beautiful baby blue linen pants and these are absolutely stunning. They had a size 10, which I actually believe will be right for me because they do feel a little bit smaller than some of the normal clothes. Normally I always just get an eight in Kmart and sometimes even a six because their clothing sizes can be a little bit off, but I love those. I think they're my favorite piece of clothing from the new summer range. And the last piece of clothing I got was this little pastel yellow linen skirt. I don't know if the color is showing up necessarily on camera, but it also has an elasticized waist on the back of it and sort of a nice flat look on the front. I'm getting a cramp in my leg from sitting on the floor, but another item that I got was this white nutcracker. They also had a couple of really neutral, like white and beige kind of colored Christmas decorations as well. So if you're not really like a colors person and you don't want that traditional like red, green, etc., going on in your house, they definitely had a really nice range of accessories like this, but he's a very cute little guy and he does have the little operational nutcracker as well, which is very, very sweet. They also had a range of Christmas cookies. So I got a whole bunch of those as well. Um, one of the beauty items that I had my eye on, and I'm so glad that I just grabbed one of these off the table, is this Sunkissed Shimmer. So it says Caramel Almond Vanilla Shimmer Body Oil, and that's what it looks like. And I just feel like I've seen people doing a lot of really nice shimmery body oils. And that is definitely a bit of a throwback to 2000s, I swear. But basically you just shake it to activate the serum and it comes out with this beautiful shine. So I'll definitely be using that for going out events over the summer party season. I also couldn't resist and I grabbed this Christmas sweater for my sister's husband because they're coming from America and I know that they have a cold Christmas. So even though it's gonna be summer, I thought, you know what, it is sleeveless and it's in his size. So I just grabbed it because I thought, why not give him a little something as well? And then I also got Peppa Pig's 12 Days of Christmas and I'm gonna give that to my sister for her little girl as a very cute little book and I just thought that was very very sweet they did have a whole range of toys and Christmas kind of themed books and the other thing like I said I went hard and grabbed all of the cutlery so I've got like six uh, sets of these but basically I got the knife fork and spoon and then this cute little cutlery holder that was part of the Christmas table setting so I genuinely have a giant <laughs> stack of cutlery next to me but I thought that was a very smart little thing to grab out of the entire kind of haul situation and the last thing that I grabbed were some beautiful little Christmas earrings and my mum and I have always loved wearing little statement earrings on Christmas so one of these pairs can be for me and the others for her but I'll just come in close so I can show you. So there's this set that are the little nutcracker guys which are very very cute and there's also this set that says jingle bells. So so what a crazy event and a fun little afternoon, but I just couldn't help but share the Kmart VIP event with you because I just thought that was really, really fun and 
just so lucky to get invited along and get such a fun little haul of Christmas things to really get me in the Christmas spirit. But I'll definitely be doing a little bit more of a haul and going to see the rest of the range in store because like I said, I am yet to decorate here at home. I definitely am not someone who starts in November. I like to start on December 1st. So I've got a little bit more time to get organized, but I hope you guys really enjoyed coming along to an event with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.